translation button data. We will back off. Apparently your ship is stronger than ours. And besides, we have learned much from this experience. Now where is our son? I don't know where your son is. And what the heck are you guys doing anyway? Number one, I will handle this. Sorry, Captain. We understand that our son's pet was taken away from him. Uh, must be talking about Jordy. Jordy is not a pet. He is a human being like the rest of us. We do not understand human feelings. We know that by now. Listen to me. I will not tolerate any more of your vigorous behavior. You want to find out more about human beings, so why don't you do so in a proper manner? What is means proper manner? Proper manner means a civilized way of doing things. We do not understand civilized humans destroy each other. All we want is our son back. So I will help you get your son back. I'll help you do a lot of things if you allow me to do so. We are sorry, Captain Picard. We meant no harm. Please do not hate us. We do not hate you. You're just being curious. As we were. I would have better appreciated if you would have sent my chief engineer one piece. We will, we understand now, we will take the tractor beam off of your ship. Very good then, very good. Our son, where is he? I do not know. I will send you their coordinates. You may go over and pick him up if you wish. Very well then, that is a fair deal. Send them their coordinates, Mr. Data, and then set a course for the nearest star base. Very well, sir. The coordinates have been laid in, sir. Very well. Demusio, have you received the coordinates? Yes, we have, sir. We have already beamed our son up. He wishes to say something to your... Mr. LaForge. Very well then. <laughs> Jordy, I know I said you could rest, but I need you on the bridge. Very well, Captain. I'm on my way. Our Mr. LaForge is on his way up. Can we see your son on screen, perhaps? Very well then. Bruka, Buka, Teak, Buka, Shika, Lakuhu. Data, how come his... Sorry about that, sir. I had to turn it off in order to send in the coordinates. But I can still hear his parents. His appearance has apparently adapted to the languages of which we use, and which his son is only that of a human child, say age seven. Oh, my goodness, so young. That's why he does understand very little. I am putting in the translator now, sir. Where is Pat? Me need to see Pat. I brought him up here myself, sir. She had to help me up here. Well, help him over closer to where the screen is. I wish I could see you, but I cannot. Not without my visor that you took from me anyway. I'm sorry about taking visor. Mushuki, I love you. I, uh, I, um, um, uh, I'm gonna miss you too. Mushuk. We have lost visual. Very well. Wesley, why don't you take off for a minute or so? Okay, sir. Jordy, why don't you sit at the helm? 
Um, sir, I'd much rather just go back to my room. I understand. I almost have the visor ready for you, Jordy. Well, I'm not exactly anxious to get back to work, if that's okay with the captain. I understand. You need all the rest you can get, young man. You've been through quite a no deal. Captain, Mushukas, are you happy about this? We are very much happy. We are sorry about the intrusion. It's just what we are very worried about our son. It's understandable. All parents worry about their sons. We will meet again. Goodbye. We have lost visual contact and audio. They appear to be gone, sir. Just as we should be gone. Captain, what do you mean? What I mean, number one, I've had just about enough of this adventure as I can stand. Understood, Captain. Any particular place you would like to go, sir? Just take us to the nearest star base, Mr. Crusher. Aye, sir. I'll tell you one thing about this experience. It has made me more human than I realize. And also, it's made me aware of what Jordy sees when he looks at his visors every day. <coughs> In fact, it has made this experience more humanizing, as it were. Very well, Mr. Data. We learn something new every day, don't we? As a matter of fact, Mr. Data, don't take this the wrong way, but hush. <clears throat> Very well, sir. I do tend to babble. Yes, indeed. I agree with that. Now then, Mr. Crusher, take us... To the NASA star base, 0 0.11286, and engage. So, number one, what did you think of the captain's chair? It's a great place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> Boy, you got that right. 